Welcome back to our magic tutorials for chemistry. We'll discuss today oxidation states of group number 17 elements. So we know group number 17 elements are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Correct. So we'll discuss about the oxidation states. So fluorine it is the most electronegative element in the entire periodic table and its electronegative value is 4. So no other element will have more value than this correct and no other element is electronegative than fluorine. So fluorine is the most electronegative element in the entire periodic table or among all the elements. Okay. Oxidation states. Now as I told you fluorine it is the most electronegative element. So what it will do? It will try to pull the electrons towards itself. It cannot lose electrons but it will gain electrons. Correct and get a minus 1 charge. So the oxidation state of fluorine will be minus 1 exceptions are there but as it is electronegative its oxidation state will be minus 1 for the other elements okay for the other elements of the group that is chlorine bromine iodine we will check the oxidation states the general electronic configuration is ns2 np5 Correct general electronic configuration NS2 NP5. Now let's check this. So in the ground state, in the ground state, you will write it. So NS, I will take the example of chlorine. So I will write it as 3S for chlorine electronic configuration 3S to 3P5. So 3S to 1. 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 3P. Correct? So ground state electronic configuration for chlorine. How many electrons are unpaired here? 1. So chlorine can show plus 1 oxidation state. Now, first excited state. You cannot make all the electrons jump at a time one by one. So 3s, both the electrons will remain as it is. From p, one orbital can jump to d orbital. Okay, to d orbital. So one of the electrons that is 1, 2, 3, 4. One electron from here it will jump to d orbital. I will write here 3p. This is 3d. So you have to check before exciting the electrons. Check whether 3d, d orbital is present or absent. And whether that orbital exists or not. Correct. Right. So in chlorine, in case of chlorine and other elements of the group, d orbital exists and 3d also exists. Okay. So what is how many unpaired electrons here? 1, 2, 3. So plus 3 oxidation state. Now excite one more electron. Second excited state. So we will take another p electron. So 3s as it is. One of the electron of p. This electron which is paired up. One of the electron which is paired up. It will go to D. Already one electron in D. And this will jump. So 1. Now how many unpaired electrons? 5. So the elements can show plus 5 oxidation state. S orbital also unpaired. Paired electrons are there. So you can unpair that. So I will write it as the third excited state. So 3s, 1 electron, 1 of the electrons I will excite to D. So here it is 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2 and 1. So how many unpaired electrons? 7. Okay. 
so the other elements of the group chlorine bromine iodine they can show plus 1 plus 3 plus y plus 7 oxidation states fluorine it is the most electronegative it will show minus 1 oxidation state moreover fluorine cannot make the electrons jump correct what is the electronic configuration of fluorine 2s to 2p5 1s to 2s to 2p5 you can check here from p if you want to excite an electron where it will jump 2d it should jump to 2d but 2d does not exist so non availability of d orbital in fluorine and moreover 2d orbital does not exist iodine hepta fluoride 7 are there no so hepta fluoride calculate for iodine oxidation state for iodine i'll put it as x value plus 7 fluorine minus 1 so the x value is plus 7 correct plus 7 one more example we'll take it for clf3 calculate the oxidation state of cl it will be x plus 3 into minus 1 equal to 0 x is equal to plus 3 correct so these two examples it proves that or shows that the elements other than fluorine can show plus 1 plus 3 plus y plus 7 oxidation states hope this topic is clear to you